Ah, the Eastern uh, Penitentiary, what it's called. Everybody calls it the Roy Prison. You know, uh, yeah, that's where they filmed Rounders. At least from the outside, I believe, you know. It looks like it, but you know what? The gate has changed, but that dome right there. I think Sylvester Stallone had a movie. I remember in the 80s. Like, that's the first movie I remember, you know. And overlooking, like, behind it is Route 1 and 9. And it's a highway, 1 and 9 north and south. And, just buy, and there's a car dealership over over there. And it just bothered me being locked up. And then you see, like, all cars. Like, you get away in the highway, you know. It's like, you know, that Falls and Blues uh, song, you know. Uh, I hear a, t a train coming by. It's like, you know, just to, just, to just uh, you know, uh, mess with your mind. It's a psychological warfare, what that is. You know, it's it, it just awful. It's just, they, they just had it right next to the highway, you know. So let's say you're in there on the, other, on, the, on the other side. And over here, you can just see, you know, cars passing by, you know. But it, it just to, like, you know, haunt you and stuff, you know. Unless you're not, you know. I mean, you're just deceased in the brain or something. You just don't care anymore. You know, eventually maybe you get just used to it. But, yeah, this is, uh, you know. I forget what the movie was called. I don't I don't want to say it's Tango and Cash, but it's some kind of movie Stallone was in or something like that, you know? And, uh, yeah, this is where we have a flea market. I'm not going to go because it's in the back uh, here in Roy, but, uh, yeah, let me just drive because uh, I'm going to get beer. Shoot, I got 20 minutes. You know, I don't make stuff up. And I do kind of think it was around. So I got to look it up. They did change the name, though. Back then, it was just, uh, actually, I don't know. I think early 2000, they said it was for uh, just perverted people, you know? Like, you know, I don't know if, or if it's like that now. I forgot. I've been talking about it, but it's like, you know, no one used to have a conversation about that. I think it's just, like, degenerate people. I knew this kid, you know, I went to high school with, Kevin Lopina, you know, uh, Kalo, whatever I called it. It was kind of corny, but... You know, he used to work here for, like, a, over a decade. And they transferred him to, like, a, you know, a penitentiary up north. And he was a correctional officer. Like, he said he went to be a cop. And, you know, it's like he didn't get in the police academy. So, you know, he uh, uh, he became a correctional officer, a CO. And, you know, he, 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 he used to work here. Before, <laughs> actually, that's him. It's like, you know, not him here, but it's like, you know, he used to, <laughs> he just worked around this block. <laughs> You just couldn't get up from the zip code or area code. Because <laughs> he, the, it's like, you know, he worked on this street that's connected to my house and shit. But then it's like, you know, actually, yeah, <laughs> it was another street that was connected to my house that went the other way. And he worked in another place that, you know, dealt with, like, you know, transporting cars. And then, you know, I think that company, I don't know what happened, but... Uh, you know, it's it's right now. It's a it's a truck driving school, you know. Which I was gonna go because only I think it was like five or something grand, you know. But it was like they had this hiring program where you know you go to a job, this and then you come back and they try to find you a, a new company. So I was like, wow, it's, you know, it's textbook like for like two three months and then you know or something like that. And then you just you know on the truck uh, in the parking lot, then you go on the road and you know you know pick up the basics. So I was like, wow, this is actually pretty good, you know. And like I think. 2020, I was like, you know, I, I want to do that. Like, I'm just going to get money for it. You know, this is what I want. You know, but anyway, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> you were carrying it with it, but, you know, it's like connected to my house. It's just fucking weird as hell, man. But, <clears throat> you know, and another guy, they, I think he just subdued by like females, you know, which is like very odd. He had like a kid. And it was just like very weird. It's him and his little group of friends, you know, there's a lot of people out there. It's just like, you know, I just don't want anything to do with that stuff, man. Like, uh, you know, I'm not going to be controlled like that. But anyway, like, yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure that's where Rounders was filled. You know, at least because it was that dome. And I got to look it up on my IMDb or something like that. You know, it was just like, it, it just like, you know, it's a very, they say it's iconic. It's that dome that, uh, that they had, the, the the oval dome or spiral or whatever, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh you know, is there, is it really psychological warfare that just happened by accident that they put a highway there and, like, you know, they put a certain, certain train tracks and just, you know, you see it and it just, like, really messes with you that there's people going in and out and that they're, you know, they're commuting and they have certain freedom. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you already lost your freedom. I'm not going to say 
puppies and unicorns, but, you know, there's a better way to do that, at least, you know? I mean, you know, it's like, even I was in, like, a certain cycle where it's like, man, it's like, you know, I just saw people walking by and just, like, and I was thinking about stuff on the outside, you know, <laughs> like, outside the window, you know? It just kind of, like, haunted you a little bit, you know? Maybe there's no better. It wasn't like that, but just, like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, you know? It's, you know, uh, the landscape or hardscape of, not just here, but especially in America, it's designed just to, you know, uh, mess with your psychology, you know? Whether you want to segregate people or you want to further, you know, uh, 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 haunt them and disturb them and, you know, uh, and degrade uh, their mentality, you know, it's, it's it's right there. It's right there, you know, in, in, the, in the blueprint of, uh, of, uh, of well, in the blueprint of, you know, uh, the landscape, the map, whatever, you know? And you don't have to look it up on Google Maps. You can just go around and look at this stuff. You know, it's, it didn't happen by accident. Same as, you know, you build highways in certain neighborhoods and you connect the highways, but it's like you segregate neighborhoods. And now, you know, like over here, it's the suburbs, but it's like, you know, you have a little bit of sidewalk, but you have some actually, you know, here, it's like, you know, this is actually Carteret. So you do have some kind of store that you can walk around to, but uh, there's certain places, it's like, you know, uh, and I want to put trailer parks, you know, uh, on that map, so to say. But even, like, here in Jersey, there's, like, the trailers. But it's, like, for, like, uh, you know, it, it's a, it's a, next to a highway. And if you don't have a car, I mean, you know, you just lost. And also, it's kind of dangerous to, like, you know, drive into the highway from, from, from that. So it's, like, you know, you put somebody in a... It's cheap, but you put a certain place, like, you know, a, a boundary restriction on them. Like, you know, uh, they just can't get simple things done or something like that. You know, I just... It's just very eerie, you know. It's a it's a form of a, 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 an oppression, you know, on a different level. And you know, you're gonna talk about you have freedom, right? Well, <laughs> look at your city design. Look at your uh, suburb design. Look at your uh, you know state design. I mean, you know, can you really you, can you really you know argue that one out? Have you ever been talking about there's YouTube videos how in the Bronx they built certain uh, highways to separate certain people? I mean, it's right there. People have been talking about it, you know, but it's like. Uh, it's that, you know, uh, we have freedom. Uh, yeah, man, you're like, you know, you could go outside your house and you could like, you do stuff. Wow, bro. Like, you're alive or something. Consider, you know, if you think like that, are you really alive? You really have a mind that, you know, is it nationalism or you keep you keep repeating the same stuff everybody else says and, you know, and just makes you feel good inside, you know? You don't have to thump your chest about that one, but, you know, I kind of see it, you know? It's like, uh, a lot of times, actually, you know, most of the times that people say that, you know, they just, it's like, you know, they're negligent or they can't even, you know, they can't even open their minds to that. You know, it, it just, it's very disturbing to hear that. That's why I never liked that stuff. I'm not a nationalist, you know, I'm a, I like this place and I think it could be better. So I'm going to get intoxicated and yell at you. <laughs> ah, so here I am. Uh, I believe it's Carter Liquors. It is Warka, four pack of cans. <laughs> this is the only thing I had. I was gonna get the Budweiser tall cans, but it's the only thing I really liked. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, from uh, <laughs> the Brooklyn Boys, you know, uh, the Brooklyn Boys beer out of Elizabeth. They still had that. It was the, like the only one they had. I think they had like uh, the bottles 12 pack. I'm not sure. I just, I never drank those, you know. I don't really like Zhivitz that much. You know, I'm not a fan of that. But. Yeah, I'm in my car right now, and uh, uh, just made it. it's five to ten. And if you're in Jersey, I think you know. Uh, there's a couple stores that open to the ten. I think it's a good thing, you know. I think it should be open to like one or two, maybe like a deli or something, and have a guy, you know, work there, and you know, just get a liquor license. And I mean, imagine you know not being chased like, oh, at this at this time I gotta go get get this beer. Uh, just more open, you know, to people uh, buying alcohol even later, you know. Uh, uh, I just think it's a crazy law. I think it exists for a reason. You don't want people like 11, 12 getting, you know, drunk and doing something. But, you know, from a logical standpoint, I mean, someone could just, you know, uh, have a lot of alcohol and just get drunk to begin with. Or people just do drugs and uh, do crazy stuff. You know, the uh, the alcohol does promote aggression. So I'm going to go home and <laughs> you're going to be happy. <laughs> get angry or some shit. <clears throat> Let's look at it from a statistical point of view. Um, 
let's say you're trying to not just control the public, but you're trying to not promote any violence or uh, negative behavior uh, uh, from the human mind, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, negative uh, activity, negative whatever, you know. So, you know, it's 11, it's 10, like 11, 12 o'clock and, you know, you just get drunk with, with a couple people, you know, because like you could just go to a liquor store uh, and it's open. Now, they do sell, they do sell hard alcohol as well and wine. Uh, a lot of places, they, you know, uh, they have a difference of, of hard alcohol. Well, you get drunk faster and you go, you get crazier stuff than beer, rather. But, you know, it also depends, you know, you, uh, it, there's different factors. But I kind of understand that, you know, in a lot of places in Jersey, they, they won't even sell beer after 9 o'clock, you know? You know, and it's like, it, I just think it's ridiculous. And I don't want to, like, you know, uh, you know, Oh, they closed. They just turn off. It's 9.57. Yeah, they always close fucking early. Last time, I missed it by two minutes. But, you know, I don't know if it's legal or not. Is it really that legal? Is it really going to, you know, bother somebody that uh, somebody gets beer, you know, after nine? Um, they could get it at six o'clock or even, like, you know, set, uh, 10, 11 a.m. Oh, this this freaking turn. 10, 11 uh, in the morning before noon and do crazy stuff to people or others or just get in the car and drive. You know, from the <laughs> same statistical standpoint, let's say, you know, I got beer right now. I started drinking, which I, I don't want to drink and drive. There's hardly anybody on the road, so it's actually kind of safer, you know. <laughs> like, I don't promote that, but <clears throat> let's say it's 12 or 1 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning. I mean, you, you have a drink, couple drinks, you know, you get on the highway, even like here on the road. Oh, man, just, you know, who knows what could happen, you know. So there is also that. I kind of understand that, you know, as a government uh, and people that, you know, uh, try to uh, police if, you know, you, you know, they actually want to do that. You want to you wanna, uh, control uh, uh, the country, the nation, you know. You don't want people to be drunk after like 11, 12 a.m. You know, you want everyone just to go to sleep and stuff. Uh, some of me say, you know, or my ex-girlfriend, drink a beer or go to sleep, you're relaxed. It's true, but you drink that one beer, drink six pack, 12 pack, and, you know, you get rowdy and crazy, you know. You know. So I get it from that standpoint. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you could just have a hard, hard alcohol uh, in, in your house to begin with. And it could be 3, 4 a.m. You could be drinking and, you know, liquor still be closed. And, you know, there could be a cop down your block and you do some crazy stuff nonetheless. It's really that simple, you know. Uh, in New York, it is different. That's why, you know, even in Virginia and supermarkets, they have beers in, like, a, a lot of supermarkets. In New York, they close... Uh, a deli or something where you just can't get beer. There was, I think it was from like, you know, somewhere like, like at 6 a.m. was the earliest or something or 8 a.m., which was okay, but it's like I don't want to drink that early in the morning to begin with, so it's like I never looked for that. I don't think I ever looked for that. You know, and those certain places, like, you know, you can just buy later, and it's like it, it's fine, you know. And, you know, the, the good thing about Brooklyn, I like, you know, is that you get a sandwich, you get a beer, and you have all these random things. You go to the next uh, convenience store, and they have all these random things like uh, these healthy stuff, nuts, this and that, you know, uh, from soap, this and that. Just you know, it just and the prices are way down. And they have a lot of beer, and a lot of them have beer, you know. And, and as I see, it's like it's not the beer that you know. Yeah, it does produce aggression, but look at everything around in the environment, and and why do you say like someone like me, uh, uh, just not has aggression, but just angry. You know, just freaking angry and all the all the crazy stuff like uh, you know your environment, people that are involved in that, your psychology that created this mess. In my life, at least, let alone in, in, in a different uh, levels of, uh, of society or your little country. You know, you know, I'm not gonna write a term paper on that because probably people write term papers on that. They grade them and they just get pushed. And some people read them, but you know, it's like what you have one person on uh, real time over there saying, and you know, people can just dismiss somebody. You say, well, that's very nice, but you know, this and that, and nothing gets done, right? It is one of the reasons why I kind of would want to take sociology or like psychology in college, but it's like you know, it is certain common sense. All you have to do is just go look around. Uh, and we can talk about uh, uh, all sorts of things about you know. Uh, uh, the nation, this and that country, the society, Earth, and all that in general. I'm just gonna be fi not fixate on Mars, Saturn, which planet is the closest, you know, uh, the pyramid of the miles away, or what nitrogen and gases on those planets. Like when there's fucking, you know, stuff going around here that you just openly don't admit or you just don't care about. Because you're too fucking negligent and you're too focused on, you know, Martians and shit, whatever you fucking is in your head.
you know. And then you're going to say, you know, we're gonna protect the species, really. Like, some of your species, you violate our species, your own species. So don't give me that fucking spiel and your little, uh, you know, nuance of saving the fucking, you know, human beings. Like, fuck you. It's like a backhand slap right there. Except you're snaking the grass and you're doing your little, your little dance around me and shit. Oh, yeah, man. There's probably two million fucking rats. Yeah. Well, I'm the fucking rat that will fucking snitch on all you faggots because I'm not a gangster homos. So don't call me a fucking rat when I'm an honest person, piece, piece pussies. But, you know, that's the anger right there. I feel a lot of you. A, a lot of your fucking guineas and everything that's wrong with, with a stereotype of a person, whether you're from Italy, black, Polish, you're all fucking part of the same fucking problem. And I always fucking you. It's just that you woke up the fucking anger in me. Goddamn fucking wolf. You know, and I see things too on a, on a different level, not on some, on a, on a spiritual and mental level too, you know. And I got the fucking cuff key faggots. Fucking idiots. Can't even fucking, you know, how to lock someone up. No wonder you fucking failing and shit. Like the retard from fucking Alaska, but you know, takes a fucking homosexual, deviant fucking transvestite to, you know, put that out in the blackosphere and like, you know, fucking have your little saying and shit because he's a liberal fucking pansy. You have no idea what it's like to be a human being, a man, fe whether you're male or feminine, asshole. That I said your name. Def Show 2, Def Show 2. There, cocksucker, you famous. Fucking idiot. Anyway. And imagine that. <laughs> I didn't even have a sip of alcohol, and I just got angry at you fucking idiots. I was going to drive through my fucking street and, you know... Try to follow me, stare at me, then drive away like, you know, they're just scared because they're fucking sissies. Is it the cops or the rest of you fucking, uh, you know, oppressors and shit? Mental oppressors, environmental oppressors, fucking sadistic faggots. Fucking worshippers, pieces of shit. And I hope you go fucking Saturn or Neptune or some shit and you go worship, I don't know, uh, air. <laughs> you, you know, in your mind and shit, you breathe. Anyway, unto laws and about uh, intoxication, yeah. I don't think I should have alcohol, but I think, you know, they should have a healthy understanding what it is and not be like, you know, it, you know, there's probably a 14, 15 year old, like someone like me just understands it, you know, and she's like, yeah, I've been drunk, but kind of, you know, like, it just, you know, <laughs> gets excited, but there's fucking 50 year olds who brag about me being drunk when they're really not. I mean, it's like, bro, like, come on, dude. You know, that's your little, uh, 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 your, your little, your little mentality right there. And, you know, there's no, uh, uh, there's no time stamp on when you can close that. You know, and you shouldn't probably close this. Mine's probably explode. Like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's a form of deviancy, uh, you know, that's a form of deviancy. And there's no fucking time stamp on it that, you know, you close it and it'll be put away. Unless he goes to sleep. And who knows in his dreams, whatever the fuck he does as well. How about just logic uh, and reason and uh, uh, integrity, you know? Follow with respect and common sense, you know? You can make all the, the, the laws, this and that. Uh, you can't really, uh, you know, either teach it or put laws uh, against that. Towards it, whatever. <laughs>